From above, it is clear just how tough it would be to save lives. Wedged between water and forest, 150 people trapped in the wreckage. The way in, either on foot or by boat. The way out, for many survivors, to be airlifted by helicopters. Two trains, but it's as if they've smashed together into one. It's a horrifying scene, says Transport Minister Alexander Dobrindt. It's shocking how the two trains are wedged into each other, he says. My God! Moments before this video was captured, many were just ordinary commuters on the way to work or en route to a ski trip. Just fewer than usual because of Carnaval. School children, thankfully, on break. Joe Adederan captured those images on his phone. There was blood everywhere because some people flew away and some had to hit their head on the chairs or windows or uh, armrest or something. Trains going in opposite directions often use the same track in rural areas with the help of a signaling system with an alarm that's supposed to apply brakes if somehow the two trains are approaching each other. It seems that did not happen. Impact could have been at 100 kilometers an hour. And with that curve in the track, the drivers wouldn't have had time to react. Both were killed. Two black boxes have now been recovered. And so have all the passengers, dead and alive. Many of them still fighting for their lives. Nalayed, CBC News, London.